So, we are going to learn this nuclei, individual nuclei in this nuclear groups by drawing this diagram in a 2D plane. As I mentioned before, the thalamus is looking like an egg. You know that an egg has a pointed end and a rounded end. So, if you imagine my body, this is the midline and this is the right side. You imagine the right thalamus, the right thalamus will be placed in such a way that it has a pointed end anteriorly and a rounded end posteriorly. The rounded end will be slightly lateral, the pointed end will be more medial. Okay, So, if this is the midline plane, the pointed end will be here, the rounded end will be here. Okay, So, this is the that right thalamus. So, to understand the nuclear groups, we are going to cut this egg. Okay, You can imagine to cut this egg in a coronal plane. If I cut this in a coronal plane and remove the two slices and look it from the posterolateral side, that is the picture that I am going to draw here. We, are, we, will, uh, we will have an experience of drawing this and by that we will learn the relationship of each of the nuclei. So, this is that rounded end of that nucleus okay? and I am drawing the thalamus more anteriorly and this is the cut, the cut surface okay? and uh, I mean uh, this is the cut edge. In front, this is, this is the posterior piece of that thalamus. This is the anterior piece. Now, I am going to draw the anterior piece. Okay? This is that cut surface. So, this was the plane through which the, the egg thalamus was cut. And this is the rest of the thalamus. So, I hope you got the picture that this was the egg. That egg has been cut in the coronal plane. So, the most important critical point here to understand this diagram is the orientation, is the axis. First, you have to understand that this is a right thalamus. This is the right thalamus. You are looking from the right side, from the posterior aspect and from above. Okay, Slightly above, you are looking at the right thalamus from the right lateral, posterior and from above. So, this is anterior, this is posterior, this is the lateral side and that will be the medial side. Okay, And this is superior and this is inferior and as I mentioned before, thalamus for thalamus, superior inferior has another name superior things are dorsal and inferior things are ventral. Okay. So, the next thing that I want to draw is the internal medullary lamina which I mentioned. The internal medullary lamina is a white matter lamina running through the thalamus and dividing it into nuclear groups. So, now I am drawing the internal medullary lamina which I will draw with another color. Uh, so, this is the internal medullary lamina. The internal medullary lamina that is running from the posterior to the anterior side. Uh, so, this is the one that you see on the surface of that egg. I am drawing the rest, the rest will be like this. I hope you got the Y shaped internal medullary lamina and when it is in, on the cut surface, I will see that like this. Because I already mentioned that the internal medullary lamina actually runs posterior to anterior like a Y and also from inferior to superior like a Y. So, you can see both these dimensions in this. You have to understand that this is the posterior side of the cut surface of the anterior piece. This is the anterior piece and this is the posterior piece. So, in this picture now you can easily understand that this is the medial group of nuclei, this is the lateral group of nuclei and this is the anterior group of nuclei. Okay? So, I already mentioned that the lateral group of nuclei will have two subsets of nuclei. You have a, a ventral tire and a dorsal tire and as I mentioned before ventral is inferior. So, if I draw a, a dotted line like this. Below that dotted line, you will have the ventral tire. Okay, this is the ventral tire, and so this will be the ventral tire of nuclei. This will be the dorsal tire of nuclei. Now we are going to mention each of the nuclei by its names so that you will uh, you will be able to understand each of these. This is called the anterior nucleus of thalamus. The anterior nucleus of thalamus. That is a major nuclei, the the most important nuclei in the anterior group. In the medial group, you have a dorsomedial also called the mediodorsal, okay, MD or DM, mediodorsal or the dorsomedial nucleus of thalamus and on the most medial aspect, you also have something called the midline nucleus, okay, this much part is called the midline nucleus. Midline nucleus will be facing the third ventricle, okay, this will be the third, the, this side will be the third ventricle, okay. Uh, now, you, here you also, uh, you also have the massa intermedia, which I uh, forgot to draw here. Here you will have the massa intermedia connecting with the left thalamus on the other side. Okay. Now, on the lateral group, lateral group you have a ventral tire. So, below this line you will have the ventral tire of nuclei, above this line you will have the dorsal tire. So, ventral tire I am going to name each of the nucleus. You will have a ventral anterior nucleus, 
a ventral lateral nucleus and a ventral posterior nucleus. This will be the ventral posterior nucleus. This much will be the ventral posterior nucleus. Okay, so, you have VA, ventral anterior, ventral lateral and this is ventral posterior which I have cut, the, the cut has gone through the ventral posterior nucleus. And on this cut surface, you can see that the ventral posterior actually has two parts. You have a ventral posterior lateral VPL and a ventral posterior medial VPM. Okay. So, the VPM and VPL are the two parts, the lateral and the medial parts of the ventral posterior nucleus. Now, on the dorsal side, you have a dorsal tire of nucleus which names are, uh, whose names are a little bit confusing. You have a lateral dorsal, the next is lateral posterior and the next is pulvinar. Pulvinar is a rounded cushion like pulvinar, the word means cushion, cushion like posterior part of the thalamus. Okay. So, that is, you can remember the, the, this uh, in an auditory mnemonic LDLPP. So, that is lateral dorsal, lateral, lateral posterior, this is the posterior cut piece. Here also it is lateral posterior, you have to understand, I have cut through the lateral posterior. So, that is also lateral posterior. Okay. Now, uh, on the posterior aspect of pulvinar, you have a very important, I did not draw that initially, you have very two very important geniculate bodies. This is the MGB, medial geniculate body, which will be on the medial side and on the lateral side, you will have the lateral geniculate body. Okay. The next, within the, in, uh, within the internal medullary lamina, you have a large centromedian nucleus and you have multiple smaller intralaminar. Intralaminar means within the internal medullary lamina. You have multiple intralaminar nuclei. So, these are the nuclear groups. If I summarize, you have a dorsomedial nucleus in the medial group and a midline nucleus, the anterior nucleus, the lateral group of nuclei which is split into dorsal tire LD, LP and P with a medial and lateral geniculate bodies and on the ventral tire you have a VA ventral anterior, ventral lateral and ventral posterior. Ventral posterior is subdivided into VPL and VPM. Now, all this nuclei are covered on the outer side, on the lateral side by the thalamic reticular nucleus, which I am drawing like this. Okay. The posterior part, I have to, uh, I have to remove to see the nucleus from the lateral aspect. So, I can represent that with the dotted line like this. So, this thalamic reticular nuclei will be something like a shield on the lateral aspect. I will have to remove the thalamic reticular nucleus to get a view of the uh, nucleus of the nuclei of the thalamus from the lateral aspect. So, these are the subdivisions of the important nuclei and the nuclear subgroups of the thalamus.